I'm Katie Bloomer. We're in the Douglas Lab at UCSF, and I am volunteering for the summer. I basically emailed Sean and asked if I could work for him for the summer because I thought his research was really cool. I have partly been working on code for him and partly been making nanostructures. So my name is Sean Douglas and I'm an assistant professor. One thing that we're trying to address is how to build chemotherapies or better cancer therapeutics. You'd want it to be safe and effective and you'd actually want it to destroy only the cancer cells and leave everything else alone. So you want to spare all the healthy cells. I actually went to college wanting to work for the State Department. I wanted to be a translator. I ended up taking science my first semester because I just I couldn't imagine not taking a science class anymore. And I was trying to sort of narrow down what field I liked, and I all thought they were really cool. But I wanted to pick the one that I thought would have the most impact on the world at large. And I think nanotech is very clearly that, because if you can manipulate matter at like the smallest scale, which if he succeeds in making his nanobots, you could, you can do anything you want. Like, you wouldn't have waste anymore because you could just recycle anything into anything else and you could have better medicine. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, I always liked so. science, but I never really saw it as something I would end up doing. Like, I wasn't the sort of person who ended up being a scientist, but I just kept doing it and then I became a scientist. I'm working on one program to help Stefan designed sequences for something he's working on. So that's a lot of just like looking at looking at DNA strands and doing things with them. And then also I'm working on another project where I get to make my own DNA nanostructures. And so for that, Sean wrote what's actually the, I think the main program in the field for um, DNA nanostructures. So basically it, we use this program called CAD Nano where you just sort of root the DNA strands in this interface that he designed and it does everything for you and it can output the sequences you need once you've sort of drawn what you would like to happen. We're, we're working on the precursor to, lar to larger things. A lot of the products I'm working on have to do with making it easier to produce nanostructures. So like um, larger scale structures, or making a lot of them. I think they want to be moving into clinical trials in the next couple of years. And so when you do that, you have to be able to, if you're making a medical device, you have to be able to make a lot of it so that you can inject it into someone. You can't just like give them one nanostructure. So um, it's very important to be able to make a lot cheaply. So that's one thing we're working on. One of the reasons I like nanotech was I read this, this one book where like they, could, they just had these nanobots that could cure anything and they could stop people aging. So like they just kept you in perfect health forever. And I think that is pro I mean, eventually possible, right? Um, maybe not exactly soon, but I think that's a pretty, pretty good goal to have everyone in good health.